Another hate-filled mass shooting happened over the weekend, this time in Colorado Springs at a nightclub, a gay nightclub um, called Club Q. Um, 22-year-old, a 22-year-old with an AR-15 entered the club uh, and opened fire, um, shooting and killing five people and injuring 18 more. Um, he would have killed more people. Yes, of course, it's a he. Sorry, I didn't mean to bury that. Is, is that Okay. He would have killed more people, but two uh, jumped on top of the shooter. One was an Iraq war veteran who was there watching a drag show with his family who held the shooter down and kept punching him with his own gun. And another um, was a trans woman who stomped on the gunman with her heels, which is amazing. Uh, I love this. It is both sad, but also um, incredible. As Dan Savage put it on Twitter, um, Two queers did what 60 cops in Uvalde couldn't and subdued a gunman. Um, but it is incredibly heartbreaking. Once again, we have to deal with this shit. This community has again has to is bearing the brunt of the hate speech that the GOP is fueling. Um, one of the people killed was Daniel Aston, who um, was sorry, before I bring it up, he was um, one of the bartender, like the bar managers. And Daniel Aston um, was four years old when he told his mother he was a boy. And it was another decade before he came out as transgender. His mother told the newspaper uh, he thought himself bashful, but that wasn't the case. She said he never knew a stranger even as a kid. Um, so basically it was incredibly outgoing. But I just think it's so fitting that we're in a time when the right is freaking out about giving hormones to minors um, you know, trans kids pretty, I mean, and be, they're anti-trans anyway, but especially obsessed with being a kid and feeling like you're living in a different body or that you are a different gender. And there you have it. This man, th uh, this man was killed and he came out to his mom as a boy at four years old. And actually he moved back to Colorado Springs. He was living away from them, his family, his parents, but moved back because he wanted to be closer to them. And he was one of the five people who, who was killed. Um, anyway, I don't want to cry right now, but, uh, I just thought that was really important to, um, to mention and Aaron Reed, who we had on the show, um, who tracks a lot of anti-trans bills and just does incredible work around this, um, quote tweeted something that, uh, Daniel actually posted about club Q and how important it was to the community, um, and she writes, devastating. I've been holding off on posting this until it was confirmed by a major news source. It's now confirmed by ABC. Daniel Aston, transgender man, was one of the victims. He once tweeted about how patrons at Club Q would tell him, quote, you make me feel safe. And that tweet was uh, from January of this year. Every time, every single goddamn time, I even have the slightest thought of leaving Club Q. Someone comes up and tells me, quote, you're the reason I love this bar. Or you and Derek make me feel so safe and welcome here. Um, Derek was a bartender who also was murdered uh, in this spree. Um, there's more to say on how the hell this happened, but NATO, maybe just your thoughts. I mean, you know, the, the like, it's, you know how sometimes we talk about how, like, you know, the, 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 the people closest to the pain have to be closest to the solution. Um, and, like, it's just, you know, the LGBTQ community, like, for decades has been, you know, is sort of, like, has, is, like, leaps and bounds ahead of everyone else in terms of thinking about, like, you know, not everyone else, obviously, but, like, a lot, you know, there's just, like, a lot of, um, you know, liberals who were, like, uh, you know, oh, like, upset about, you know, like, America's lurching to the right in the Supreme Court or whatever, and I'm, I'm moving to Canada. And meanwhile, like, Gay people are like, you know, like literally fighting for their right to party, you know, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. that, that, and like figuring out how to like be fabulous and, you know, like dance at the club and mm -hmm. will, you know, like beat the shit out of someone who tries to get that between them and a hard beat. You know what I mean? Like, it's, <laughs> yes. it's like, I did not put on this feather boa tonight for nothing. How dare yeah. you? Like, it's, it's just like, it's, a you know, it's just a, a amazing. I mean, and that's, and it's not new. Like that goes back to Stonewall, you know? Yes. Uh, and Which Compton, effectively and then, was the same thing, right? It was the right the to same party. thing. The Compton cafeteria rights in San Francisco were the same thing. And, um, 
you know, and so like when you know in my darkest hours when i get scared and manage my anxiety by compulsively looking at at cheap real estate in rural spain which is what i've been doing (laughs) (laughs) is like maybe i should Uh, be (laughs) you and me both dude let's go anyway yeah let's buy let's buy a like i love how you're like you know these liberals who just want to like move to canada and then you're like and then i'm looking into buying land in spain (laughs) and then i want to buy land in spain i just i just want like a medieval stone house with a with a wine cellar and like and like a meadow of some sort you go fight gays yeah Yeah, no no gays Gaze, you take it from here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Asturias and, <laughs> and just. I, I just need to reflect. Uh, um, NATO talent. NATO talent on himself. Yeah. So but yes, you know, you look to the people you've left behind and say, "Thank you for leading the charge." Thank you for leading the charge, and the, you know. So, um, and also like it's just. You know, at, as as like I'm a parent of queer kids, and so you know, it's there's a way that like the which means that I my family is now is a queer family, and thinking yeah. about you know it's like obviously like I've had gay people in my life my whole life, but you know thinking about my kids and the and where how they go through the world and what they're gonna have to fight for, yeah, um, you know it's just like, uh, uh. You know, and so then, I mean, I, not to not to step on stuff that we may be talking about later, but then, you know, for Hillary Clinton to go to the Financial Times and be like, you know, maybe we shouldn't be talking about pronouns pronouns so much. You know, all this trans stuff is a distraction from the real issues people care about. It's like, go fuck yourself, lady. You Absolutely. know, <laughs> so well, and and we're going to talk about Pelosi in a second, who I think has echoed a lot of that. I just, you know, um, I want to, I want to just say that like. This story, the way it broke down, it just flies in the face of every bullshit narrative the right has been trying to spin about. And we know this about the gay community, about trans people, about everything, which is effectively um, they're in our faces and converting our kids. Uh, No, they're in a strip mall, in a bar, in a club, and they still get targeted because you, you know, that's number one, right? Um, And it's always been the case in the gay community, the LGBTQ plus community. Um, Number two, uh, drag shows are not family things. Um, That fucking Iraq war veteran was with his family. His daughter and his daughter's boyfriend were there. His daughter's boyfriend was murdered. So no, it is a family thing to go to a drag show. Absolutely, it is. Um, And also the idea that like, you know, somehow you stand with vets, you fucking care about that. No, a vet had to fucking stand up and and be the one to tackle this guy. It wasn't a, he wasn't a current cop. So like, it just implodes every single narrative they've been spinning. And of course the people spinning it are, uh, you know, YouTube accounts, excuse me, um, Twitter accounts like libs of TikTok. which, if you don't know, is basically an account run by a person named um, name. I don't give a shit what her name is, but uh, it's oh Chaya Rachik is her name, and has been peddling all kinds of hateful stuff against the trans community, LGBTQ plus community. Um, this is a day after the Colorado Springs shooting, and she's tweeting out via libs of TikTok uh, about another drag show and performance um that's happening called uh the drag utant and she's upset about it uh and basically calling out the representatives in in colorado in uh, the state of colorado saying hey you need to do something about this because they're encouraging children to dress in drag oh my god look at this this is a day after in colorado five people were murdered in a club so it doesn't stop and we all know let, let's just this is just a quick rundown a donut shop in tulsa oklahoma last month was attacked twice once the molotov cocktail after hosting an art show run by, run by drag queens over the summer protesters surrounded a gay bar that held drag events in dallas texas accusing the lgbtq community of grooming children uh mayor jack gilbert gilbert canceled a drag queen story hour after violent threats meanwhile members of the proud boys have attempted to storm restaurants holding drag shows in arlington texas and woodland california it goes on and did this bear out as a fucking issue people voted on in the midterms no but what is it done oh it's radicalized the crazies 
that are already part of the GOP base. It didn't necessarily increase the number of voters. It didn't speak to moderate voters. No, it just further radicalized the crazies who were already armed to actually fucking once again target and brutalize the gay community. Over and over and over and over again. They're not expanding their base. They're, again, if I just said this, radicalizing the crazy base they already have to violence. Anywho. I mean, um, it's, mm -hmm. well, and, you know, it's not just the right wing is doing it. It's like, you know, then when people talk about, you know, Chappelle's fixation on trans people being just jokes, it's like, I, you know, you can't credibly argue that that's not related. It's all one cultural soup, you know. I, I very much agree with that. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.